At Henderson's Leisure Lodge, folks sit in rockers on the front porch and visit. A lawn sprinkler lazily spreads droplets of water on struggling grass. And thoughts of the past too often creep into the present. All is quiet and serene. Kia! Yeah. Kia! Yes! Kia! Yeah. Yes! Kia! Yeah. Yeah. But quiet and serenity disappear when the Golden Years Subak Do Club gets together. By the camp. Hana! Kia! Do! Kia! Karate instructor Jean Duncan began teaching karate free of charge at the home a year and a half ago, in spite of warnings that the residents were too old to respond. I started out coming in to do some basic breathing exercises with them, and they did so well at the breathing exercises, I decided, well, might as well just get them uniforms and let them practice a little bit of punches and kicks. Kill. Soon Duncan's students, who range in age from 60 to 94, were punching and kicking away. They were even breaking boards. Kill. It seems as though it'd take a lot of strength to break these boards, but karate instructors say it's more a matter of concentration and courage. Kill. Good. All right. That's very good. At 94, Brian Reisinger does indeed have concentration and courage. Reisinger had never even heard of karate before he joined the class. Now he's a champ with two titles under his belt and a shot at the national title in San Diego next week. He's going to do his form that I taught him, Form 1, which consists of 22 different moves, moving from uh, left to right at uh, 90 degree turns to a total 270 degree turn and he's uh, yeah. doing very well and anxious to compete. You know, I can just hit just as, I can hit awful hard if I want to. Yeah. And Brian Reisinger and Gene Duncan's Golden Years Subak No Club usually do yeah. want to. Yeah. Let's see, step right back right here, right down.